how checksum detects the error okay so take an example that you know transmitter he wants to send this kind of random digit so that is eight seven four six five two and these are basically the raw data okay so what is the checksum over here so first to find out the checksum first you have to calculate the sum that is 32 and checksum will be minus 32 so that in the receiver side you know uh, the total sum will be zero now if we have to calculate the four bit checksum so first you have to uh, convert it to the binary one that means one zero 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 okay and then since it is a four bit so we have to do the wrapping process or you could say it's a wrapped sum so that is zero zero one zero and one's complement will be one one zero one that is the one's complement and then in the decimal format it is something like 30 okay now let's take two uh, two different cases one case you know you have to make sure like uh, there is a there is no error and receiver detects all the all the digits uh, perfectly so for example eight seven four six five two and with the checksum okay so the sum will be 45 and then the binary format will be one zero one one zero one and then if we do the wrapping then all are ones okay so there is no error okay and take another case that is case two and then we intentionally change some bit or change some digit so for example you know the six has been uh, changed to eight okay so what will be the sum so sum will be 47 right and then the binary format will be one zero one 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 so again if we do the wrap sum then it will be like one zero 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 one and do again so it is zero zero one zero so we can easily see that you know there is some some error has been detected okay so by this way we can find the how checksum can detect uh, detect the errors okay